Hi, I'm Brent Johnson, and today I'm at Packachog Church in Auburn, Massachusetts. With me is William Ness. Uh, William, you're not the organist here. You have another job in town. Where are you? I'm at the Wesley United Methodist Church in Worcester. Okay, Worcester, which is right here, right next to Auburn, is just up the road a little bit. But you've come in today to help us demonstrate this Dobson organ. Uh, tell me about this instrument. When did, we, when did it go in? Well, this organ is just over 25 years old, and it was do designed by Lynn Dobson and um, Patricia Snyder, who was the organist choir master at this church at that okay. time. And it's really um, a magnificent instrument. I mean, a, a favorite, I think, of Lynn's because it's in such a good room. Well, yeah, this room is fantastic. It's just a big, it's a big box with mm -hmm. some seats, and there's no carpet, and there's no it's soft surfaces. <laughs> it's a rectangular box, yeah, which right. is what we want. It's, and the organ just sings yep. right into it, and it's, it, I can tell, I'm sure the listeners can tell just from our voices in yes. here <laughs> what yeah. the, how great the acoustics are. So, uh, well, let's give them a little bit of the organ. I guess let's start with the Great Division. This is a mechanical action organ. Everything's right here all in front of us, uh, and so the Great speaks right over our heads. Um, let's just start with that, di that uh, principle in the... Yeah, it's just perfectly voiced for oh, the room. Oh, it's a beautiful it? <laughs> principle. One person mentioned to me this was his favorite principle in all of Worcester. Really? And that's quite a statement because there's so many organs in Worcester. <laughs> <laughs> it is very nice. It's very gentle, but it's clear oh, yeah. and singing. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, let's build up the principal chorus from there. We have a four foot octave. And it goes on up, we have a two foot. Yeah. Okay. And then a mixture on top of that. Uh, yes. How many ranks is this mixture? Four. Four rank, okay. bright and commanding, but it's yes. not screaming at us. It's no, not no. too loud. It's just, again, perfect for the room, for the size. All right. Um, let's listen to some of the other stops here we have in the grate. We've got a, an eight-foot uh, chimney flute. And then a, a four-foot flute, what's that called? Nachthorn. Oh. Now, it's, it's a really, it could be used, you know, as a lovely stop, as a melody stop right down through here. It's good, good yeah, range. It's lovely. It's got a lot of color. <coughs> With track of organs, you have to, you know, of course, use your flutes in such a way if you have to change octaves or whatever. Right, no, to no make couplers, some, super couplers. Yes, here, yes, and you can do that very easily. Yeah. You just have to make sure you have enough notes <laughs> when you come down to middle C down here. Yeah. But um, it's really very lovely. Okay. What, one of the loveliest combinations on the organ is the eight and two and two thirds.
That's beautiful at long ranges. <laughs> it is. That, that it just sits right on top of the harmonics of that, that chimney flute, and it doesn't beautiful. stick out as a, as a quint, but yes. it just colors yes. it. Yes, it's, oh. it's amazing. It's really amazing. Way down low, that's amazing. Do you want to hear the tears? I with do. That? Let's put the tears on now. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's, stunning. it's just exactly what you need there. You know. Now you can have you can four the, ranks yeah. of all flues. Um, then if you add the two foot uh, principle, then you have that full five rank coronet sound, but with the principle in there. Perfect for French literature. Then if you want to take off those those two flutes, you could make more of a it still works with the Yeah. The parts. Then you could have The early French music that you yeah, want to okay. dabble with. A versatile pair of stops oh, there to lovely. be able to mix with everything else. All right. There's one other flue, a 16-foot Borden. Yes, there is a Borden that, that makes its way on here. Then you pair those with the flutes. Fun, isn't it? Just purrs it? along under yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely colors. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it just brightens the whole. If you put all these on, you know, with the you know sense of a 19th century mm -hmm. German organ. Well, let's leave those off for the moment. Um, you'd have a really rich. Like Mendelssohn. Really, it's just such a gravitas sound that's that's sweet, really. Well, and then there's a trumpet in the grate that we add on top. Really very, it's a, it's a uh, chorus read, but yeah. it still has an ability to shout out by itself. Yeah, it's, it's very controlled bass, there. Yeah, yeah bass and treble. You have to. You have a lot of, lot of color in that stuff. Okay. How does that sound then with our principal chorus? If we use it as a, to brighten that. All okay. Up. Let's put some pedal on here.
gives it a little bit of color. Mm -hmm. it mostly oh, yeah. the flues uh, it takes over there, but it's it's useful to have that little, yes, little, yes. little growl in there. Yeah, it, it doesn't, it, it's not gonna throw you if, if you're the listener in this room. The yeah, it's just the right amount. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Well, that's our great. Let's come over to the swell now. Um, and uh, just tell me what we have here in the swell. Well, we do have strings and flutes okay. eight, mm -hmm. um, two forefoots, a two foot piccolo, four rank mixture, quint, and then two reeds, a bassoon, 16, and oboe eight. Okay, so we have a little chorus here. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can kind of build with, uh, the. I assume, the gedeck and string together probably yes. give you a bit of a principle. Gentle. Let's let me hear the gedeck by itself. Okay. box open it was already very gentle and then to yes, be able to is. close that down. And well it's behind this division, down. behind the grate, okay, so it's the back of the case, so that's a good position for it. So you have the foil. Yeah. The different I'm wondering if maybe it's a little more projecting out there in the room than what we're hearing yes, going over yeah. our heads here. So probably okay. so. Um, how about the solitional and that and then the Celeste? Pretty broad string there, so it's mm -hmm. not super cutting, but then that gives you a little bit of brightness with that gedeck to yes. fill up the, the ensemble, all right? Yeah, it is nice to have a string that can blend with something else mm -hmm. rather yeah. than just be <laughs> abrasive to stick out above something. Okay, um, where do we go from there? Well, we could get to the four foot flute four and the eights. Travis flute. Oh, I didn't put the eight on. And then there's a two-foot piccolo that we can put on top of that. Quint, one and a third, which I'm assuming is a flute mm -hmm. sounding rank as well. Good tuning uh, right now today. Indeed. <laughs> <Isn't that> so? <laughs> uh, but yeah, to have all those nice colors there, that's, yeah. that's very handy. All right. Uh, and then we do have a, a four-foot principle and a mixture, um, which I assume that if we kind of 
put a put all the eight foots underneath it, we might get a. It's almost an echo chorus to the great there. Mm -hmm. That's, that's yes. uh, a lot of sound. Um, yeah, okay. And then after that, we have reeds. Three independent reeds are. foot oboe, very nice, and then a 16 foot bassoon. So once again, the, the reeds are giving us a lot of color, not necessarily a lot of power. Mm -hmm. uh, they're very subtle, but, they're, but they, they definitely add their own little uh, effect to the ensemble. And you notice how you can take this, this big chimney flute mm -hmm. on the grate, and it works. Now it became louder, of course, when I closed the box on the oboe. But still, it's remarkable. Yeah, that it, it holds its own against. Yeah. Even though it's not super loud, it's clear enough yeah. and bright enough to. Oh yeah, to I think it sails right over. Of course, we're not. We're sitting right in the organ. We're the this organ. close, and when you get you know 20 feet away from this instrument, it all is congealed. I think it's really quite lovely, remarkable. Yeah, it's done a remarkable job. Well, now uh, we have a few stops in the pedal. Um, being a tracker, does have a lot of independent pedal stops. Yep, here's the principal eight, which is in the facade, along with the eight foot principal. And this is a 32 note pedal board. Mm -hmm. And then here's the four foot. And then the Borden is borrowed from the grate. Okay. And then here's the independent Subas. And then the eight foot flute. Trombone 16. And the trumpet 8 is borrowed from that, it's tr transmitted.
it's the first stop that I felt, wow, that's big. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I also know it's in the back and it's sort of the room is sort of shoveling it over the organ and, and mm -hmm. just filling the space with it. So uh, this is, the instrument is remarkable. Everything is voiced and just fits together so well. Uh, the ensembles all work really well together and against each other. So uh, it's just a remarkable uh, feat of organ building here. Yes, and one organist who is a noted organist who came to our annual meeting last month said, you know, this has everything that a big organ has. It's just <laughs> not as much. Because he came up here and he looked at everything. He says, it's all here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was very nice of him to say that because he was listening to students play the recital uh, at our annual meeting. So it wasn't, it wasn't what you would call the finest polished organ playing, but it was, they did their best. But he just was remarked how lovely it is. And um, it really is a sweet instrument. It's, it's fun to play. Indeed. To get into the organ, there's a space between the organ case and the wall. This slatted door here closes the entryway and we see some of the pedal and then here's uh, where all of the creators of the organ signed it in 1997. We see the pedal reed here, the trebles and basses sort of staggered. Opening a panel now, we're behind the console. Stepping into this tight spot, we see the electronics. We have a big wind line right in our way here. The tremolo hanging down, and the pedal trackers, which come off the pedal board at an angle. There's our combination action. You can see the reg reservoir back there. 
little walkway if you need to slide back to get under the console, but it's really tight to get back there. Now going back out, we step out of the organ and there's this very carefully engineered ladder also made of very beautiful cherry wood that the rest of the case is made out of. And this gets us up to the second level behind the grate. So up we go. And here we see the tops of the smaller pipes of the pedal. A very tight little space here, but we open it up and now we're looking down at the grate. You see mixture pipes and the trumpet. Or flute and the borden is back against the front of the chest. These, of course, are the treble pipes. The bass pipes are off to the side. A little bit of mitering to get it to fit under here. And here is the roller board for the swell, which is right above us. There's a hatch in the walk board, and a ladder goes up. So we're going to go up there. We're looking over the top of the case, standing on the swell walkboard. We've opened the doors here, and we peek into a very compact swell. To help with accessing the pipes, there is a fold-down walkboard suspended from the ceiling that allows one to get inside the chamber a little better. some of the pipework and over on the side this is the pedal tower you can see some of the pedal pipes there pipes hidden everywhere is the top of the lowest pedal notes and then the hatch that we came up through. We can open it up and there's the ladder going back down to the great level. And we head back out of the organ. Thank you so much for the tour of the uh, Dobson's Opus 69, built in 1997. Uh, this is, like I said, just a, an amazing instrument. It really is. It's, uh, Lynn knew what he was doing, and, and uh, I know he took a lot of care in this instrument and, mm -hmm. and uh, did a really great job with it, and I'm glad it gets used here so much. Oh, it does. As we said, you're not, you're not the organist here, but you get to come play this. Oh, I practice on this as much as I can. <laughs> the church <has laughs> as much been, as I'm allowed. <laughs> the church is very gracious to let organists <laughs> come in, to let us come in today, too. Yes. So we're happy to be here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please, you know, give us a thumbs up down below and leave a comment, uh, especially if you think that William did a great job. Um, <laughs> and because uh, th th that was just a fantastic demonstration there with actual excerpts. Well, it's nice to show all the parts of the keyboard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because as an organist, if we have to play a four foot flute down here. So how much you can get out it's, of you've almost, two flutes. You've almost got more than two there. When you yes, uh, you yeah. see, and you have to be able to go different parts of your keyboard. That's what tracker organs make you do. <laughs>
Indeed. Well, uh, again, if you think you did a great job, please give us a thumbs up down below and uh, leave a comment and say hi. Uh, we'll try to make sure we read all of those. Uh, and make sure you're subscribed to our channel and click the bell for notifications uh, because we will have more videos coming out. And if you'd like to help us make more videos, you can become a sponsor of the Oregon Media Foundation, uh, just like Jordan Peak in Texas did last year. Uh, and it's one of the reasons we're here in Massachusetts visiting uh, great organists and organs like this. So uh, you can go to Oregon.media, click on support and help us continue to bring you new videos. Until those next videos are out, though, remember you can always find streaming classical organ music on our three stations, OregonLive.com, Positively Baroque, and The Organ Experience. William, thank you again for a fantastic demonstration. Uh, until next time, I'm Brent Johnson. Thank you for watching.